the neighboring states in Central Asia, uh, formerly of the Soviet Union, Tajikistan and uh, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, possibly Kazakhstan. Um, you've, um, I was going to ask if you had any security issues with those countries, and apparently you do. Um, does anything positive flow from those countries? Is there anything good in the way of trade? Well, Central Asian countries, we do not have any security issues with them. I think they are all very excited about the prospect of uh, China-Pakistan economic corridor because they can see that they are all landlocked and they have an opening to the sea. In fact, on uh, March 1, 2017, last year, all heads of states of Central Asian states were in Pakistan for a summit meeting and they were all very excited about the prospects of opening up of this route because they can see that it will ultimately benefit all. The link of Central Asians to the waters of Indian Ocean had been actually blocked for, for a long, long time because of the situation in Afghanistan, which comes in between. So corridor actually provides a bypass for them and enables them to reach those warm waters. Uh, mm, but I don't think that should lead us to complacency about the situation in Afghanistan. I think Afghanistan needs to stabilize. If Afghanistan riddle is resolved, I think it will open up enormous opportunities for the energy-rich Central Asia and big consumer market of South Asia. And Pakistan and Afghanistan would provide that corridor for linking the two sub-regions. I think that will be a win-win for all of us, including the Central Asians. It was a real pleasure to have the ambassador here today and um, at UCLA. And this is the Center for India and South Asia at UCLA. And we really enjoyed the, the event. It was a really interesting talk. And there was a lot of interest from students and from community members in the talk. So it was great to have this event. And we look forward to more such events in the future. Assalamu my name is Aisha and I go to University of California, Los Angeles. Um, I'm a third year student studying political science and I think today's event was great because it's not very frequent that you get like people to speak on campus about like issues that are very pertinent and especially in the light of like recent events where like um, it's been all about like this perception of Pakistan that's been created in the United States and, and I feel like the ambassador, his excellency spoke here and it was really enlightening and we got to ask questions, got to clear misconceptions um, and I'm just really uh, I'm just really honored that we got to host him, that we got to speak to him and ask him our questions. Um, and I would really encourage like events like this to happen in the future. I think today's speech was very good. They covered a lot of subjects. And like the China's economic corridor, which is being perceived in America and India, and within Pakistan, there are many concerns about concerns. So I think he addressed that. He addressed the um, Pakistan-America relationship very well. And I think it was very good for the students here at the campus to hear him speak and uh, answer those questions. And the questions, I have to say, were very good. And he covered those very well, responded to them uh, uh, very comprehensively. Thank you. My name is Zain Naeem, and uh, according to what I heard from uh, Mr. Azaz Ahmed Chaudhry, he, the main, something, something new which I learned was that uh, Pak, the, the way the world looks, views Pakistan is largely opinionated by China, India, because Pakistan and India don't have good relations, but U.S. has good relations with India. So it makes sense for, Pakistan, uh, f for U.S. to not have peace talks with Pakistan as often and because US and China are main competitors but uh, again it gives US another reason to not have to not proceed with peace talks with Pakistan and not be a strong ally with Pakistan so that's what I learned my name's Shahama and what I think was great about this talk was that it gives Pakistani Americans, international Pakistani students, or anyone in general who wants to learn about Pakistan, a perspective of someone who is representing Pakistan in the U.S., which is very important, other than just the media representing Pakistan.
Uh, hi, my name is Fariha Hamid, and I agree with Shahama that as a first-generation Pakistani American, um, that it's really responsibility lies on our shoulders to to show Pakistan in a good light and show all all the good part, the good aspects that we have to offer, despite what uh, might be out in the media. Hi, my name is Maha, and I felt that Mr. Chaudhary really knew what he was talking about. But I also felt that he made it, um, he gave an impression that Pakistan was always like very readily available to help and was very committed and was in the forefront of helping solve all issues. But I'm sure, like from the other like other side, there's like different perspectives, and I would also like. Um, the ambassador um, of the United States to Pakistan um, and him to be in the same room so we can get both sides and we can really understand what his take is, what what United States um, thoughts are on this, while what Pakistani ambassadors thoughts are on this. Hi, my name is Mahad and uh, going off what Maha said, I think it's very important for the ambassador to engage in dialogue more than just um, coming and giving speeches. Although that is also very beneficial for the Pakistani community here, for improving Pakistan's perception among um, the American uh, population in general. And I think it's very important that he does this uh, through universities because that engages with a large um, crowd, it engages with uh, not just Pakistani students and Pakistani diaspora, but it also engages with the instructors and um, people who are in positions of power to at least give advice to policymakers. And um, being what institutions are, I just hope that he can do this, he can replicate this in other parts of the United States and just reinforce a lot of what he said um, and just spread Pakistan's perspective, because that's not a perspective they hear a lot about in the news and the mainstream media, especially um, domestically in the U.S. Well, his speech was very reassuring because his emphasis was on the fact that um, both nations need to remain engaged, that, um, that any options uh, besides this engagement would be kind of tragic for both sides. Most people are not balanced. Most people tend to get all of their news from people who are similar to them. Um, Americans are being accused of that now, of being in a bubble, of talking only to friends who have similar opinions. But I don't think that Americans are alone in this. I think that in each nation, people are bubbled up and they, they talk to members of their, they pack together into little ghettos and talk only to people who agree 100% with them. Assalamualaikum everyone. So my thoughts about the meeting, I actually feel really, really, really positive about it because as, a, as an American who's from here and being of Pakistani origin, I really learn a lot about American-Pakistani relations because whenever I'm looking at the news, the news is always about, God forbid, someone dying in Pakistan or Pakistan being in like a really bad state, but now I actually got to learn about the conflict in Pakistan and the conflict the U.S. is having in Pakistan and the fact that there are so many illegal immigrations that are not only in America, but it's a big problem for Pakistan and Afghanistan. And I really learned about the issue that why hasn't Pakistan been able to control Afghani immig immigrants who are creating conflict in Pakistan. And it's a really sad issue because it's not only affecting Pakistani's life in Pakistan, it's affecting people who are from here, it's affecting our lives because we are looked down upon. We are also portrayed as people who are promoting violence in the United States, even though we're from here and we belong to the society and we have as much right as any average American does. I'm an international student from Pakistan who's studying in America just for right now and just attending this talk was very refreshing to just hear um, a Pakistani voice on campus and to remind us of uh, the Pakistani values and one thing that I found um, extremely inspiring was how while the American government is currently very hostile against us with their tweets um, that are not thought through and their allegations against us, the Pakistani government has continued to respond with grace and facts and just the fact that we are holding our ground in the midst of these false allegations can shows the positive um, shows the positive way that we can go on and shows a lot of hope for our government and the future negotiations so it was 
interesting. Hi, my name is Ali, um, and I'm a second year sophomore at UCLA. Um, this evening's event, um, in my opinion, was extremely important because um, it's important for someone who is an uh, inter international Pakistani student um, to be to have conversations where we engage the, bi the Pakistani diaspora with um, the greater American community and just in terms of getting um, not only Pakistani Americans but also Pakistanis um, from around the world to engage with Pakistani politics, uh, not only Pakistani American politics or US politics but also the domestic politics within Pakistan and how that affects bilateral relations between the US um, and Pakistan. So in my opinion, in my opinion events such as these um, are extremely important. I really hope that more of these um, happen in the near future. Hi, uh, I'm Omar from Karachi, Pakistan. I'm a senior at UCLA. Uh, I think the event was very important. It was very refreshing to see or or to see the hope that relations between Pakistan and the United States are improving. Um, it's also very important to see how Pakistan is equally as important uh, in this relationship as, uni as the United States is. Um, and I'm glad on our foreign policy front, um, we have good goals set up um, and the sovereignty of our nation is uh, not being uh, taken as a joke anymore. Thank you.